the 2018 British Truck Racing Association Championship with Truck and Driver. Hello and a very warm welcome to the final round of the 2018 British Truck Racing Association Championship with Truck and Driver. It's sunny and dry here at Brands Hatch and that augurs well for some great racing. Ryan Smith, the championship leader in Division 1 and of course Luke Garrett leading Division 2 as we head into the final day's racing for this season. Ryan, end of the season, but you guys are totally evolving all the time and you've, you've got somebody now getting more involved in the team here. Yeah, we're going to get today and tomorrow out of the way and then uh, t uh, tomorrow night, uh, it's a new beginning for us. Um, we bought Bradley Candlish in now, who's going to be the team manager and uh, take care of the sponsors and the hospitality and run the team on a day-to-day -day basis. We need to expand, we're getting better, we're getting more uh, coverage, so Brad will come in and he'll do that for us. Right, what are your thoughts on that? It's got to be one of the best teams to come into. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, very excited. I mean, what Ryan's done on his own is phenomenal. The the level of performance he's produced and uh, his achievements. But I want to just you know develop the team, develop the new truck we're building as well, and um, see what we can do out in Europe as well. That's going to be another major focus of ours alongside the British campaign, so it's really, really exciting. In qualifying, it was Ryan Smith who took pole for Division 1 from David Jenkins, the returning Ollie James third, head of Martin Gibson. Our focus, though, starts with Division 2 and the man chasing the championship, Brad Smith, on pole position from Steve Powell, his brother John, then Eric Forstrom. Keep an eye out for Luke Garrett as well, looking to try and set up the championship in this race. But it wasn't to be for him because Brad Smith took the chequered flag. There was plenty of fighting though in the 17 truck grid, but Brad Smith kept his championship hopes alive with the win. So the Division 1's headed, as we said, by Ryan Smith with David Jenkins, Ollie James and Martin Gibson, Richard Collett and Stuart Oliver, Jamie Anderson, John Neal, Mark Taylor and Simon Reid complete our grid here at Brands Hatch, the first of four Division 1 races and Ryan Smith qualified on pole and he is looking to start up the championship here but he's got David Jenkins alongside, Ollie James and Martin Gibson in behind but it's an all black front row here as they come towards lights out. It's a good orderly start from this 10 truck grid. They go into Paddock Hill Ben Jenkins looking on the outside line but Ryan Smith knows he's got the advantage of the inside. Super start from Martin Gibson, the Warwickshire based driver in his first year. I tell you what, you can see now the experience that he's gained over the year as John Neal runs a little bit wide at Druids. Richard Collett out on the wide line as well in the yellow MAM, but it's the PT Hyatt uh, Taylor's truck of Ryan Smith that's out front. Side by side for Collett and Jamie Anderson in black on the outside. The back end of Collett's truck gets a little bit squirrely, but he pulls it back into line. Loads of physical effort required to do that and driving precision and skill. But he does it, but Anderson's got the place on him now. Ricky Collett not too far behind at the minute, but they're going into clearways, getting sideways again and losing more ground on the first full-year driver, another first-year driver, Jamie Anderson, man from Colville, multiple winner and uh, really finding his feet in the championship. I've got to say, hasn't looked like a newcomer this year at all. He's been right on the money, as has this man, Ryan Smith, Qualified on pole once again here this weekend. Remember, most of his wins have been from the back as well as coming through from the front. He's got a 49-point championship lead. We did the maths on it. We reckon he's done in excess of uh, 250 overtakes throughout the course of the season because, remember, the race format in truck racing is that first race of the meeting is qualifying, so it's fastest off the front, but, but afterwards... If you win the race, you start the next race at the back. So the race results are reversed to give us our grid. So loads of work to do as Ollie James made a little mistake there. Now being chased by Stuart Oliver. Jamie Anderson in behind as well. The two bonneted trucks, the more traditional looking 
truck racers there headed by Ollie Jones. Great to see him back racing in Britain. He's been over in Europe with the Figuera Freightliner and looking pretty sharp this weekend. Third in qualifying. Eight tenths of a second separating Ryan Smith and David Jenkins. Here comes Ryan, the championship leader, into Druids. David Jenkins in second. Close, but not close enough to challenge. Third place, Martin Gibson. Could see a maiden podium on the way here for Gibson. Really putting the experience that he's had over this maiden season in truck racing to good use as we watch his teammate Stuart Oliver chasing James, but now with his mirrors full of the black 23 of Jamie Anderson as well. Anderson getting a good run out of Graham Hill. A long Cooper straight. Not close enough, I don't think, to make a move here. Through they come. The S-Bens comprised of Surtees into McLaren and then round into Clearways. We pick up on the 18 of John Newell, former class champion years ago, returned to the series at Donington Park, chased by ex-Division 2 champion Simon Reid, the man from Stoke-on-Trent in the Iveco Stralis. Nice wide line coming through Clark Curve onto Brabham straight. Now cross the line, tick off another lap. But it's Ryan Smith looking. He will here mathematically. He's going to sew up the championship here because there are only 45 points available after this race and his points lead coming into the race was 49. So he could actually afford to be beaten by Dave Jenkins in this one and play it safe and finish second or third. A couple of places behind David Neal have wrapped up the championship with three races to spare, but that is not what Ryan Smith's about. He wants to win the championship at the earliest opportunity. Dave Jenkins, though, virtually matching his lap times, though, in this. So he's doing a, a grand job in second place. There is the third place truck, Martin Gibson. Keen battle for fourth here as Stuart Oliver continues to chase Ollie James, and James runs wide, and Oliver nips up through on the inside line. The GT Kelsa truck goes through on the inside, but has he got enough of a run? He's managed to clear James' truck. That was a super move, very well executed by Stuart Oliver. You can see why he's a multiple champion in this discipline. Hard enough to overtake in cars, but when you've got these huge machines, that was precision driving from Oliver, who goes wide into Paddock, comes back, grabs the apex there, and now Ollie James is being monstered by the 23 machine of Jamie Anderson. Anderson's got momentum. James grabs the inside line to defend, going into Druids, forcing Anderson to the outside line. Richard Collett not that far back as well. I think the handling on the HGV direct truck is settling down, but Smith threw shot, the Mansfield man from David Jenkins. Staffordshire, Jenkins Truck Sports entered machine, back by Digraph, he's still there in second. There's the third place man, Martin Gibson. Teammate Stuart Oliver busy trying to close in on him, but look at this, James again goes wide, same spot, and squeezing his way through on the inside line. Very well read indeed there by Jamie Anderson, who goes through and makes up the position on Ollie James. James will try and fight back. I wonder if Richard Collett fancies a go as well now. Collett, remember, was up with Jamie Anderson earlier on in the race, but champion elect is Ryan Smith up at Druids. David Jenkins has got the fastest lap of the race, so no shortage of speed as we ride on board. This is the champion, the double champion's view, soon to be triple champion, coming down through Graham Hill Bend, onto Cooper Strait now. Precision stuff from Smith. No, nowhere near going track limits. He respects the track limits 100% there. He knows that he doesn't want to get a time penalty. Super driving from him, pole position. Lights to flag by the look of it, goes into clearways for the last time. And the Taylor sponsored truck is going to secure a third successive championship. Here comes Ryan Smith, the MAN, is going to claim the 2018 crown, which he does now. He knows he's done it, flashes the lights, takes the win. David Jenkins is second. Stuart Oliver takes third place from Jamie Anderson. Ollie James in fifth from Ricky Collett, then Martin Gibson, Simon Reid, John Newell, and Mark Taylor. Ryan Smith, congratulations on a third consecutive title, 21st race win of the season. You were totally in control of that one. Yeah, uh, it's an, an amazing achievement, you know. To say we've been in the sport four years and we're the three times British champion. We're only a little team with a little budget. But things are turning for us now. These big sponsors wanted to get involved because 
we're building and we're, get, we're going to get stronger and we're going to get faster and uh, we've got a great spectacle and I'm delighted to be the winner of it all. Yeah, it was a good race for us. Uh, I think Ryan and I were fairly dominant. We ended up with fastest lap, so that was that was really good. But um, slight little bit of a balance issue with the chassis, which um, we were going to adjust out before the races tomorrow. Um, and other than that, it was a good race. Fair place to get our racing underway this weekend. Tell us about the race. Yeah, it was good. You know, I, uh, qualifying wasn't fantastic. We, you know, it sort of got pipped on the last lap of qualifying. I was up in third, and then. Uh, I went over the chequered flag on the qualifying session and then I went from third to fourth to fifth to sixth. So started the, that race in sixth and I had a bit of work to do. But congratulations to Ryan, you know, he's had a fantastic year and done really well and uh, you know, all credit to him. So uh, we're just here to have a good a good day tomorrow and uh, and go and go from there, you know. Division two action once again now. Trevor Martin on pole, James Aikenhead alongside, then it's Willem Breedijk and Jim Bennett. Actually Jim's not there on road two. It's a stocking start from Luke Garrett eighth on the grid who's looking to sew it up he's got into second place around the outside of the 51 of Willem Breedijk who is in third place now Rody Smith in white around the outside of Craig Reed, but challenging for the lead up towards Druids is the 42 truck of championship leader Luke Garrett looking to sew up the championship here if he can and he passes Trevor Martin the pole position man the two Dutchmen side by side oh there's contact there Goodness me, it's James Aikenhead, I think, on the rear end of the 68 truck of Craig Reed. Adam Bint in the mix as well. I thought that was going to be a race-stopping incident, but they all managed to sort themselves out. Fair play to the drivers. You've got to have very quick reactions, very efficient brakes as well to get through that sort of scenario. Binty finds himself down the order with James Aikenhead, who started on the front row having a few problems. You can see the mad croc in the mix again, the... Reigning champion Mika Mackinnon back with us as well, which is good to see Binti recovering superbly and challenging Steve Powell in here, the former Division 2 champion who's up and fighting for third place in the championship standings with his brother John, who holds third place at the moment. Luke Garrett's championship lead is now 24 points. He managed to drop six points on race one winner Brad Smith in race one so Smith keeping his championship alive as Breedike goes to the outside line of Trevor Martin we've got a very strong international contingent here looked like Steve Powell locking up but he got it all checked up very well indeed look at Powell there pulls it all back into line Mika Mackinnon ahead of him but that was great driving good recovery driving there from Steve Powell at Druids Luke Garrett in the lead of the race now, just about to put a lap on Trevor Martin, who leaves him room on the inside line. Roddy Smith, the Dutchman, is second, and his compatriot, Willem Breedijk, is in third, ahead of Mika Mackinnon. A very, very strong international flavour to this final meeting of the year. There is the 51 of Willem Breedijk with John Bowler right behind him, but he's going to come under pressure from Mika Mackinnon. Luke Garrett, though, is still not going to have, I don't think, enough points to wrap the championship up here. He'll pick up 15 points, but Brad Smith's going to pick up points as well. But Luke Garrett is edging towards the championship. You can see the physicality of truck racing has taken its toll on the front of Garrett's truck. But this is all he can do here. Take the win. It's been a fine drive from him. Fastest lap. He's come from eighth on the grid with some super moves on the opening lap. Luke Garrett takes the win here at Brands Hatch. Second position goes to the Dutchman, Roddy Schmidt with Willem Breedijk in third. Those two drivers not scoring points. Mika Mackinnon is next up, now ahead of John Bowler. Then we've got Craig Reed and Steve Powell as the placemen go along Cooper Strait for the last time. Mackinnon looking to try and challenge Breedijk. He's got the inside line there, but the Dutchman defending well on the inside, holds the line. The Finn looks around the outside line. The Mad Crocs leaving the door open here for John Bowler to come through on the inside line. So Bowler having a look, but I think Mika Mackinnon's got the speed not to overcome the Dutchman for third place, but he'll hang on for four. So it's Garrett from Schmidt, Breedijk in third place, then Mika Mackinnon and John Bowler, Craig Reed six from Steve Powell and Brad Smith in eighth. You and Brad certainly had us uh, with our calculators out trying to work out what the points were during that race. It was real seesaw, particularly as him trying to work his way through. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, with the reverse grid, you know, we, we were sort of in that position where we've got to try and uh, work our way through. And obviously, I got um, 
got a bit bogged down, so obviously it was Brad's turn, but tomorrow it's my turn. So, uh. Roddy, congratulations on second place. Always a pleasure to see you here. How was the track for you? Yeah, as always, uh, we love it to, to come here and to race here with, uh, with all the English uh, competitors and even now a few Finnish people. Yeah, it went very well this uh, today, so we are very happy with it. Willem, great to see you on the podium. Congratulations on third place. Tell us a little about your race. It was a great race. Uh, the start, we, we can hold on the position until uh, Luke uh, came inside. At the end, uh, I had a bit struggle in, in the first corner over there with uh, Mika. But it was a very nice race for us. Race two for Division One, headed by Mark Taylor on pole position with John Newell to his outside, Martin Gibson and Simon Reed on row two, Ollie James and Richard Collett on the third row, Ryan Smith and David Jenkins, of course, with the work to do from the back. On board with David Jenkins, still looking to sew up second position in the championship. And look at Ryan Smith at the back of shot. He doesn't jump the start, but he was looking up that outside line before they got to it. Now he's unleashed and he is looking around the outside line of Stuart Oliver. Belly room there, on board with Smith. Superb footage from the triple champion going through Paddock Hill Bend. Look how smooth he is at the wheel. The truck wanted to go one way. He steers it the other. Oh, and Reed, Simon Reed down the inside line on the grass. There's contact there at Druids. Now, where has Reed ended up? He's still on track. Mark Taylor gets inside. How has Mark Taylor learned to control the truck like that in only one race meeting? That's incredible from Taylor, who heads that field and really getting in the mix now with his pole position start. There is no more daunting track than Brands Hatch to start your trucks. On board with Martin Gibson, and he's looking at the back end off Mark Taylor's truck with Simon Reed right behind him. I think Jamie Anderson looking up the inside of him as well, eclipsed as he was by the truck on the outside line, the Reed truck on the outside line. There is Dave Jenkins coming through, past Richard Collett, Ollie Jane's chasing them. This is all action, the overall championship secured, but now, the drivers are racing, David Jenkins racing for second position in the championship, which he holds at the moment ahead of Jamie Anderson. Simon Reid is fourth in the standings from Stuart Oliver. Those two swapping that place in the championship with pretty much every race uh, for the last three rounds. And I wonder how it's going to pan out. Here's our view from Drew. It's the slowest corner on the track, but as you can see, the action is not necessarily that slow for these trucks. Reed all over the back of Jenkins who goes down on the inside line of Mark Taylor. This is a very good learning opportunity for Taylor. Remember, joined us at Pembrey. That was our last meeting and he's he was here. Pole position for this second race uh, and acquitting himself very, very well indeed. This is how you learn when the faster drivers go past you in the initial stages of career. You'll see how they do it. He's getting a drift on. He's got real good truck control, Mark Taylor. He just saw that at the back of shot. But Dave Jenkins, second in the championship, having a good run through the field at the moment. So newcomer versus former Division Two champion here. Taylor leading Simon Reid. And then this year's champion, Taylor's teammate, Ryan Smith's going to have a look through on the inside line of Simon Reid. Realises he hasn't got the, the room to do it there. And he's thinking about where he's going to make the pass. He knows that Reed will look on the inside of his teammates. And Ryan Smith following on that outside line now. So Reed couldn't quite get the move done. And Taylor holding on. This is superb racing from this youngster. Mark Taylor, take my hat off to him. He's got the former Division Two champion, Simon Reed, right behind him. Simon, of course, sparring all year with Ryan Smith that season. Richard Collett goes off over the grass. And rejoins, still struggling with the handling on the 95 truck. Ryan Smith now through, and you can see Reed still struggling to get past Mark Taylor. What an addition Mark Taylor's going to be next year. Can't wait to see how much progress. Think how much progress he's made in, in one race meeting. Now Reed's got the inside line, and probably the momentum here. Remember, Reed's going to have that much more on track knowledge. Goes through. Damage from lap number one side by side, but the Taylor's truck looking pretty nippy as they go along the straight. Reed on the inside line is going to make the pass. He's now in, I think, sixth position. There is John Newell still out front. This is the battle for the lead. Newell the leader. Jamie Anderson in second. Anderson looking for a third win. Newell looking for his first one. Look how close they get. I don't think there was contact. If there was, it was just a touch. Certainly not what you'd call malicious con contact. 
but Anderson very close indeed. And now looks the inside line, uses a little bit of the grass to find the gap. Jamie Anderson wanted the race lead and a little bit physical as he goes past. Gil knows he's been in a fight and Anderson, well, I've got to say that was a, a super move from him. He just used a little bit of the, won't be construed as track limits that. Anderson's through into the lead. Here comes David Jenkins in the 69 with Martin Gibson behind in third position as Ryan Smith nips through on the inside line of Martin Gibson. Long climb up the hill in towards Druid, so John Newell still in second place. Really good to have welcomed John Newell back into the championship. He's had uh, one third place this year, that was at Pembrey, in our last meeting. It was good to see him on the podium. I tell you what, you can really see that John Newell's getting to grips with the trucks now and look at the battle going on here. Ryan Smith has sowed the championship chip up but he wants to get ahead of David Jenkins. Looks one way and he's going to do a John Newell here without going on the grass though. Sees the gap, there's one truck width there and through he goes and now we've got Gibson coming through as well. Martin Gibson, superb opportunistic driving from Gibson as David Jenkins was wide there and loses two places. Good move by Ryan Smith who moves up onto a podium position. Richard Collett and Stuart Oliver having a good old dice. I think they might, and they're, ho they're hooked up. The two trucks are locked together. Oliver was trying to come through. And now Oliver going from left to right, trying to free himself. Uh, sorry, Collett trying to go left to right to free himself from the truck behind him, but we're on the last lap. And it's Jamie Anderson who's there from Ryan Smith. They're still at it. Look, still, still locked together, those two. Siamese Twins Racing may be a new option for next year. But Jamie Anderson looking for a third win of the year. His first race win in the offing of Bad Sachs. But Ryan Smith's taking the battle to him and having a run around the outside line. Here comes Ryan Smith. Anderson's got the line. Smith switches to the inside line. Down to the flag. Anderson takes the win. Ryan Smith from the back of the grid up into second. David Jenkins completed the podium from Martin Gibson and Simon Reid. John Neal next to Molly James, Mark Taylor and Stuart Oliver. Jamie, congratulations. Third win of the year, first of Brands Hatch. That's got to be special. Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, we've struggled on this circuit and we do. Um, it's a very technical circuit for saying how short it is and it's good to be able to push off from the start and make some moves. Uh, yesterday we had a bit of a getting blocked in and didn't really feel settled, whereas now we just have to push on and go from there. Got held up at the start and uh, uh, Dave hit me back wheel and all of a sudden my grip went. Then obviously Mark Taylor had the problem with the antifreeze, so the antifreeze was on the circuit. But it suited us and uh, one more lap and Jamie had also been a victim. <laughs> it's uh, a great, great start to the day for us in front of such an amazing, enthusiastic crowd here and a big crowd here today. Uh, good racing, entertaining racing and ultimately that's what we're here for. A big crowd and a big grid of Division 2 trucks about to come out for their third race of the weekend. James Aikenhead on pole, Andrew Fulcher alongside, Ryan Colson and Adam Bin comprising row two, Trevor Martin and Eric Forstrom are next. We've got John Powell, third in the championship in the mix there in the number six truck. Brad Smith is outside, still mathematically in with the shout of the championship with slightly focused there on Steve Powell in the yellow three. He goes for a quick start, but his way is blocked by Trevor Martin, who's struggling there in the 19 machine. And Steve Powell thought that was going to be a quick run up the inside line, but he loses places. On board with Brad Smith, the yellow machine of Ryan Colson. That truck we saw raced by Joanne Eason at Donington Park, the convoy in the park. And... Ryan Colson taking over the wheel for this weekend side by side with another yellow fella, James Aikenhead, who is passed now by Ryan Colson. On the inside line goes John Powell, Brad Smith in behind him, Rody Schmidt in white is there too. Aikenhead on the outside line, Brad Smith. Brad Smith needs to win this race with effectively a non-finish for Luke Garrett, who starts off the back having won the previous race in order to win the championship. So. It's almost championship complete for Luke Garrett, but not quite. He's still got to do the business in this race as Mackinnon goes around the outside line there of James Aikenhead. Local driver James Aikenhead comes from Seven Oaks in the Blackthorn commercials back. Sisu, it's Adam Bint, the race leader at the moment. There is Luke Garrett working his way through to the back. He already passed Craig Reed, three wide into Paddock. Probably not a good idea. And Garrett backs out of that, knows that he's 
only needs to get a, a little handful of points here to secure the championship. Trevor Martin's truck is parked up. There it is, I think, relatively safely. We did see yellow, yellow lights on and there will be yellow flags as well to signal that's there. But relatively safely parked at the moment, that particular truck, as we continue on this third race of the weekend. Welcome back to Brands Hatch. Adam Bint is the race leader, chased by Eric Forstrom. Ryan Coulson, very spectacular sparks from him, challenged by John Powell. Then it's Brad Smith in the DAF, the number 16 truck. He's chased by Rody Schmidt in his Volvo, the Dutchman. Problems there for Jim Bennett in the 28. The Seddon Atkinson worrying moment for him but manages to rejoin safely I wonder if he's going to get to the finish let's hope that Jim does but Binti coming under pressure here from Eric Forstrom Adam Bint whose season's been getting better and better as the year's gone on you can see a good defensive line for him but look at the bun fight going on for third place Colson there at the moment but it was Brad Smith that ended up off the track Binti runs a little bit wide here comes Eric Forstrom and the 50 truck has proved to be very quick indeed the Sisu's got the lead Eric Forstrom goes through, the finish driver through, into lead position, wide line there from Mika Makinen. They've uh, mullered uh, some of the grass of the trucks over the course of the weekend. That's inevitable, really, with this sort of racing. John Powell through on the inside line of Rody Schmidt. Brad Smith's going to follow through. We're on board with the second-place man in the championship, chasing the third-place man with the Dutchman going around the outside. Defending champion right in behind as well. Champions are plenty in view and racing hard with Ryan Coulson doing a good job in the WDE truck immediately ahead of them. Great to see Ryan back. This is just such a mega entry. Uh, as I said earlier in the race, this, this time a couple of years ago, 17 trucks would have been the combined total of Division 1 and Division 2, but now it's just Division 2 on its own. Uh, so hats off to everybody involved in British Truck Racing, the British Truck Racing Association proving that this is a formula that people want to be in. There is champion-elect Luke Garrett in the mix. He's in the points. Remember, the two Dutch drivers don't score points this weekend, so he only needs a single point. He's 29 points clear of Brad Smith. John Powell still ahead of his brother in terms of the championship positions as Brad Smith goes past Rody Smith once again, not racing for points there. John Powell on the inside line busy chasing the man second in the championship and I think John Powell will be able to see his brother Rody Smith goes on the grasses oh, and he keeps it all in a straight line that was superb recovery there from the Dutchman side by side with the Finn now going down into Babbitt he'll bend uh, and how he held his nerve there I don't know that's the, the nerves of truck racing for you Rody Schmidt holds on there is Jim Bennett still going Jim Bennett could be on for some, some more points to add in he's 10th in the championship Jim Bennett hasn't done the full season as Ryan Colson gets a little bit crossed up there on the inside line of Rody Schmidt who's got a bit of damage and comes around in front of the championship leader goodness me Luke Garrett would have been thinking that that could have been 15 points potentially lost by uh, to a driver or an incident potentially with a driver not in the championship points but Garrett read that well Luke Garrett not looking gung-ho in this one. I think he's biding his time and just making sure he picks up the points for the championship. And, you know, without a doubt, that is the right thing to do for Luke Garrett because the last couple of rounds have been a couple of little nagging problems that he's had. And now he just needs to nurse the truck home to get the points. Brad Smith in the 16, he's there as well. He's ahead of Garrett in this one, but Luke Garrett doing enough at the moment to secure the championship. Rody Schmidt in the 44 truck having another very good race but it's Eric Forstrom still in front from Adam Bint John Powell is third at the moment as we watch Steve Powell and now we've got in the gravel the 68 machine of Craig Reed who recovers he's actually recovered uh, ahead of Jim Bennett I think so he's, he's going to Jim's a couple of laps down after his problems earlier on but here is Eric Forstrom fastest lap of the race is with Rody Schmidt on lap 12 this is lap 14 and Eric Forstrom is going to take a first win of the year, isn't it, for Eric? In this truck, which we were expecting to see at the hands of uh, a British driver, 
but uh, Eric more than welcome of course to come and race and proving the metal of this truck which is going to take the win so it's a win for a Finn the fastest lap for the Dutchman here comes Eric Forstrom I don't think he's going to take the fastest lap away from Rodney Smith but he will take the chequered flag there it is Forstrom from Adam Bint John Powell is in third place and the finishing positions are enough to secure Luke Garrett the championship Here's the result, Forstrom from Bint and Powell, Ryan Colson next up from Rodney Schmidt, John Bowler in six from Andrew Fulcher and then Simon Cole. Blue Garrett, many congratulations, 2018 champion, how does that feel? Uh, unbelievable, um, yeah, I don't know what to say, but we finished the race and uh, yeah, I just want to thank everybody that's been with us this year. To be honest, reliability has been the key this year, so um, fair play to Brad, um, but yeah, I, I'm really chuffed, I am chuffed. Eric, lovely to see you racing at Brands Hatch. A super race, very well done. Can you tell us a little bit how it was? Okay, yes, this is very, very, I'm very, I'm very happy for this. Any problems with the truck? No, no complaint, no, no problem. No complaints, yeah, no. very good. Thank this you very, very much, good, well very done. Good. Thank you. Adam, those podiums seem to be coming a little bit more regularly now, which is great news. Yeah, we're, uh, the truck's back on form now. We're, uh, that was a brilliant drive by Eric. I just couldn't keep him. He went on the grass and that was the faster line. He just came straight past. But, it was a brilliant race, I enjoyed it, and that's what truck racing's about. We're at the last event of the year, but what a fantastic year again. How's it been from your, your side? Yeah, it's all building up quite nicely, and obviously we've got the biggest grid of trucks we've seen all year here this weekend, and it's fantastic, isn't it? Big crowd, you know, the championship's just going from strength from, to strength. You've got 18 Division 2 starters, you know, that's, that's an extremely competitive class, and there's four or five in it that are right there at the sharp end. Yeah, well, there's a lot of hard work goes into these events, and a big team putting it all together. With our new partners, Truck and Driver Media, going into next year, you know, we, we've just signed a contract with, with Bart to secure the future of the championship going forward for the next three years, so we're extremely upbeat about everything. Stuart Oliver starts on pole position in the third race of the weekend. Mark Taylor alongside Ollie James and John Newell on row two ahead of Simon Reid and Martin Gibson. Stuart Oliver, you'd be brave to bet against him from pole position, but again, Ryan Smith looking keen off the line, down the inside line of Martin Gibson. Jamie Anderson behind him. And of course, we've got David Jenkins up ahead of Ryan Smith at the moment. Just look at the preparation that goes into these trucks. And of course, Ryan Smith, if you've not noticed it, has got poppies all over the front. We're approaching Armistice Day and he's got poppies all over the front of the truck. It's a wonderful touch by Ryan Smith, but all of the trucks so well prepared. Down from Druids they come. And again, it looks like Simon Reid in the wars in the 89. Jenkins through on the inside. Smith follows him through. Richard Collett. Still not looking particularly happy in the 95. And Jamie Anderson behind him, but it's Stuart Oliver, the leader. So Oliver will be keen to get away. Ryan Smith all over the back of David Jenkins. Jamie Anderson trying to pass Simon Reid there. Anderson in the black truck, just out of shot. On board with David Jenkins. He's got John Newell ahead of him. Newell in the blue and white machine. Goes through and past Martin Gibson. Super view of this main straight here at Brands Hatch. You know what? You can take all of the current Grand Prix circuits, which are by and large flat with huge runoff areas. You cannot beat the character of the tracks that we race on, and particularly the Indy circuit at Brands Hatch, which have massive ups and downs. It's a, a natural amphitheatre. It almost feels like a little bit of a cliche to say that, but it's an ideal place to watch racing. And look how well Mark Taylor's doing again. Holding his nerve, holding second position here. Stuart Oliver, the only man ahead of him, as Jenkins goes off the grass and Ryan Smith through on the inside line. Jenkins hung out to dry there. I think maybe had a little knock from Jamie Anderson. And that is a lot of truck to control, which he does. We've said that before, but every little bit of correction on these trucks is a mammoth effort. Ryan Smith wants to try and get the win here. He's challenging John Neal for third. Come through from the back of the grid is Ryan Smith. Championship done, but he's still busy chasing wins and entertaining the crowd here with great racing so John Neal to his outside Mark Taylor still in second place but heading this group down the inside goes Ryan Smith look at Stuart Oliver big lead here he's checked out he's away and down the road so Oliver the race leader is Ollie Jane second my apologies to Ollie and also to Mark Taylor but 
Well, Mark Taylor, you know, he's, he's showing the kind of form already in only second meeting whereby we're going to be talking about him as a potential podium finisher. This has been a, a super meeting for him, really racing well. His teammate, the Grand Master, as they call him, right behind, behind him, Ryan Smith, is looking on the inside line now and challenging for third place. Ollie Jane still in P2. And Ryan will want to have a nibble at that. There's the opportunity to nip through on the inside line. The Taylor's twins, I guess we could call them there, side by side. Not identical twins, but two very good drivers indeed. And Ryan Smith goes past his teammate into third place. Here's the leader, though. Stuart Oliver away and down the right. Hasn't won. This is unbelievable. Stuart Oliver hasn't won since the first race of the year at Brands Hatch. I can't believe that. So... He's away and down the road, potentially looking to bookend. Race with all contact then. Jamie Anderson on the back end of Simon Reid. And Jenkins has to go on the grass again. David will wonder when he can get some laps without going off track. Simon Reid's back on. He loses a load of places. Here is Stuart Oliver still in front, building the lead into Paddock Hill Bend, showing the rest of them a clean pair of heels at the moment. This is the battle for fourth place. Jamie Anderson slowly working his way through. And looking on the inside line now, Mark Taylor with Jamie Anderson behind him, then Martin Gibson, David Jenkins incredibly still with this uh, group effectively battling for the podium despite his offs. We know Jenks has got a huge amount of pace. So Ryan Smith in second position now, Ollie James is third and Dave Jenkins is going to have a look at the inside line think a little bit too far back to do anything there as you saw from the onboard camera but racing hard trying to gain momentum as the back end of John Newell's truck gives a little tap to Mark Taylor and Newell's off on the grass opposite locks it the, a gyration the truck goes around brings it to a halt and John Newell's going to find himself off the back of the grid Ollie Janes gets a little bit of a rub there from Martin Gibson in the 11 Mark Taylor down behind him this is a very physical race that we've had here David Jenkins now on the inside of Gibson so goes through Gibson still fighting looks on the outside line the GT truck flicks back to the inside line Jenks now on the inside of Ollie Janes at Paddock there is room there and Jenks manages to go through Janes on the outside you can see David Jenkins doesn't force him off wide so Jenkins through makes up the place Stuart Oliver well clear in this race you know granted started from pole position it's still physical at the back there with Gibson and Janes getting stuck in Collett's coming in the mix as well Mark Taylor up with him and that's a problem for Ryan Smith Ryan Smith slowing along Cooper straight Ryan Smith the champion has slowed and everybody passed him now he's presumably will go into the pits but they all bundled past him having a look at the battle scarred Bagheera Freightliner of Ollie Janes Ricky Collett's going to try and look through on the inside line. Mark Taylor watching and learning these drivers. He's, he's got so much more momentum than he had at Pembrey. And Gibson looks like he's got a problem. Collett's going to go through on the inside line. Steams past the steamer on the inside line. Side by side here at Brands Hatch. Collett will nip through. This is going to be a strong finish for Richard Collett. The race leaders are on the last lap. It's Stuart Oliver still out front. Jamie Anderson is now second ahead of David Jenkins. Here is the race leader who's well clear. Now such has been the fighting behind him that he's 23 seconds clear of this pair. Jamie Anderson up ahead of David Jenkins. But here is the race winner, win number two of the season for Stuart Oliver. He takes the check of the multi-champion, wins again at Brands Hatch. Jamie Anderson in second. David Jenkins is in third place Richard Collett is going to get fourth position Richard Collett that's going to equal his best of the year Oliver Anderson Jenkins and Collett the top four Mark Taylor in fifth ahead of Martin Gibson and Simon Reid then Ollie James John Newell and Ryan Smith It's always good to see Stuart Oliver win at, at Brands Hatch and so many different winners in, in the championship but well done on the win tell us about the race yeah, it was. It was. Uh, you know, every race is a challenge. There's no doubt about it. But being on pole position is a is a big uh, bonus at the start of the race. You know, so uh, 
I just got myself away and just got my head down. That you know the truck's far from running right. You know the handling's perfect, but it just it just lacking a bit of performance and power. From where I was, it was just you know no no issue. Just you know make sure I hit only every apex right and breaking point right and you know take it to the checkered flag, which. Fortunately, that's what we did. So second and third in the race, first of all, Jamie, a, another and David, another podium as well. Tell us about your race. Yeah, it was a fight from the back. You know, we started off on the back row and we knew we had some leg work to do. Um, you know, and just watched it unveil as we drove around. Um, but as a general, you know, we're happy where we come from and we had some fortunate manoeuvres that uh, kept us clear and then we just had to fend Dave off in the end. David, again, you know, another podium for you and it's just hard work, isn't it? Relentlessly coming through from the back, you guys. Yeah, there's no let up, is there? You know, you pass somebody and two hours later, you've got it all to do again. It's like a bad afternoon on the M25, isn't it? You know, the competition's so high this year in the championship. The standards are so high. There's not a big gap between everybody and still, you know, still very hard work. So uh, we're going to be back bigger and stronger again next year. The fourth and final race of the weekend and indeed the season for Division 2s was headed initially from pole by Jim Bennett. Craig Reed starting on the front row with him. The champion, though, Luke Garrett, had it all to do from 16th on the grid. And do it, he did indeed. Aided and abetted by spins and incidents elsewhere in the field, he picked off the drivers one by one to come through and take a stunning win to complete his championship winning season ahead of John Bowler and Steve Powell. Ryan Smith on pole position. John Newell alongside then Ollie James, Simon Reid, Martin Gibson and Mark Taylor, Richard Collett, David Jenkins, Jamie Anderson and Stuart Oliver completing the grid. Ryan Smith wants to do what Luke Garrett's just done and finish his championship winning year with another win. And who would bet against him from pole position? This is how he started the meeting. But it was problems for him in race number one. He's away. So too is David Jenkins. Look at the rear end of... Richard Collett's truck again it's been like that most of the day but he's managed to bring it into line and secure some good points fourth position in that last race a particularly good result for Richard Collett but it's the champion Ryan Smith leading them into the darkness lights ablaze John Newell second Ollie James third Simon Reid is in fourth place and looking on the inside line now of Ollie James to go through James run a little bit wide and there's a problem there Ryan Smith is being passed Ryan Smith is past, he's lost the lead, he's lost second, third, he's in third place now, Ryan Smith. He must have a problem, the Taylor's PT hire truck that's been prepared meticulously throughout the year, it's been driven superbly throughout the year, looks like it's got a problem, he's coming into pit lane. Well, no, he isn't, he's staying out now, I thought he was going to come in, he was certainly slowing, but Ryan Smith is not going to win the final race of the year having sewn up the championship with three races to spare. The timing could not have been better for him, really, as Dave Jenkins challenges Martin Gibson. Ollie Jane's up ahead of them, but it's John Newell who leads this one, going up towards the hairpin at Druids, right at the top of the hill. So drama right the way down to the last race of the season. Who would have thought that we would see problems for Ryan Smith? We just see Luke Garrett take a win in his championship winning year in Division 2. There is Richard Collett with Jamie Anderson on the outside line. Stuart Oliver starting off the back in this one, of course, having won the last Division 1 race. So it's Simon Reid now chasing John Newell. Martin Gibson all over the grass and will rejoin. Just behind. Oh, and clatters. Oh, dear. David Jenkins will be uh, upset about that. He... I, with the momentum the trucks carry, you can't blame that on Martin Gibson. He was uh, going straight on on the grass, just clipped the rear end. I thought that Dave Jenkins was maybe going to get away with that, but we're not going to see a Jenkins win here either. So he's off the back. Martin Gibson off the back as well. So the place is sorting themselves out. It's still John Newell out front. Jamie Anderson just out of shot ahead of Richard Collett. Anderson is fourth. Here comes John Newell. Let's put the race in perspective. Newell leading from Reed. Ollie James is third. Jamie Anderson fourth in the black 23. And then Richard Collett running in fifth place. So Collett again looking for half decent points in this race. But this the battle for the lead. Simon Reed chasing John Newell. Simon has had two wins so far this year. One at Snetterton and one at Pembrey, which intimates that the uh, momentum, Simon Reedwise, is coming in the later part of the season. So are we going to see win number three? John Newell 
has not had a win yet, but I'll tell you what, he's driving well here. And uh, he'll know that Simon Reid, Simon's Iveco slightly battle scarred, but chasing him down as best he can at, at the moment in this, the last race of the year. The lights beginning to go. Superb show for this crowd, which is, oh, and there is Ryan Smith sadly off the track, parked up. But the championship was secured in race number one of this meeting. Incredible performance from Smith to wrap it up. It's been so competitive this year, but he wraps it up with his 21st race win of the year in race number one of this meeting. An incredible statistic. And uh, shame to see him parked up. But uh, this is now going to give us a taster of who can do what for next season. We've got David Jenkins busy uh, closing up and ready to try and make a pass. But Jamie Anderson trying to get up onto the podium here. And it's Ollie Janes who takes a wide line. Anderson will have a gap, but whether he's got the momentum, I think Janes knows that that wider sweep out of clearways gives him a little bit more speed through Clark Curve now onto the Brabham straight. Dave Jenkins with his battle scarred Digraph MV commercial Miller Lubricants truck trying to get past Mark Taylor. It looks like he's going to get another impressive result. So last lap and John Newell coming under pressure here from Simon Reid. Reid looks to the outside line as they go up to Druids. Newell's got it covered. Hard on the brakes into Druids. They haul their trucks around, Anderson chasing for third position, but it's John Newell looking for a maiden win on his return to the championship, who holds the line. He's not too defensive going into Graham Hill, Ben, to be fair to him. And he comes out of the corner, mindful of track limits. Simon Reid busy challenging him. There is Stuart Oliver. Mark Taylor still up ahead of David Jenkins. A little bit of a gap back to Martin Gibson. But that tail-happy second-place truck, that's not going to take the win. John Newell surely has done enough to get his first win in the championship in Division 1. Returned to the championship at Donington Park earlier in the year. And John Newell is going to be yet another race winner in this effervescent championship this year. Across the line goes Newell to take the win. Reid second. Ollie James is third, Jamie Anderson is fourth from Richard Collett, then Stuart Oliver, here comes Collett and Oliver still dicing it out and Oliver's going to have the run, Collett getting slightly more momentum off Clark Curve, is he going to hold on to it? This is for fifth position, Collett just does it ahead of Stuart Oliver, then Mark Taylor and David Jenkins and look at that celebratory showboating from John Newell who takes his first win since his return to the formula at Donington in the summer. Confirmation of the result. John Newell not only took the win, but also got the fastest lap. He's going to be one to watch next year. Couldn't get any better. It was a tough race, very, very slippy, but we're just took it nice and steady, kept defending well, and we got to end no trouble, nice clean racing. And obviously happy with the progress this year? Yeah, very happy with the progress. Just get some testing done now and get ready for the full season next season. Simon, what a race. You were harrying John all the way through that, but just couldn't find a way through. Yeah, it, it was a couple of times I was there itching itching on the eels, but it's the, it's the one mistake that chucks the lot. So, uh, no, just glad to bring a trophy home. We had a bit of a fun weekend. <laughs> one of the team members, Chris Engineer, went with us. But uh, that one's for him, to be fair. He's, uh, he'll be well buzzing after that, you know. Ollie, we're just saying first interview of the year. Great to see you on the podium, and the big is going really well. Yeah, um, we've uh, we've had a busy year over in uh, Europe this year, but uh, a good race, uh, good, sorry, a good race weekend really for us, um, and uh, it means that we can now go into the winter with uh, all of the data we've took from here and also Europe this year and, and build something uh, special for next year. So here are the championship tables. Congratulations, Ryan Smith, Division One champion, 49 points clear of David Jenkins, Jamie Anderson in third, Simon Reid fourth ahead of Stuart Oliver and Richard Collett, Division Two champion. Congratulations, Luke Garrett, head of Brad Smith and John Powell. His brother Steve in fourth from John Bowler and Craig Reid. Well, that's the end of our 2018 British Truck Racing Association Championship with Truck and Driver. The racing may be over, but the parting's about to start. The funfair atmosphere here will go on into the evening. We've got the firework display to wrap things up as ever. Congratulations to our two champions. Division 2, Luke Garrett, and a triple champion in Division 1, Ryan Smith. I hope they'll be back in 2019. I hope you'll join us too. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.